What up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Mari back at again with another reaction video. Today we're getting into Dimash. I think his last name is Kudenbergen. I think that's how you pronounce it. But another Dimash reaction. We are going to be doing Ogni Pierta. I think that's how you. I think this is in Russian. It's also called Olympico, apparently. So uh, maybe that's the, the English translation of the title. But we're going to be getting into this song. A lot of the deers have been requesting that I react to this song. I don't know too much about this song, just a lot of people were recommending that this be the next song that I react to after my sinful passion reaction. A lot of people said that his range is really on display in this song, and I saw a bunch of his range in my SOS reaction, so that, I'm interested. I, I really wanna see what Dimash is gonna have, what Dimash is gonna have for us today. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this reaction, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Peace. I didn't even realize that the link that uh, the people were posting in the comment section to send to me to react to this was a fan cam until the video started and they started moving the camera. But um, this is actually really good because it's really close up on his face. So you can see his neck and his Adam's apple and his jaw. Like you can see the muscles in his face moving. And so you can tell that he's actually singing for some people who, you know, may thinking, oh, He's, he's lip singing or he's not really singing or, or whatever the case may be. This fan cam like gets really close up in his face. So you can really see the anatomy of the singing that he's doing. This is such an intense performance already. This is super low, especially for someone who did the things that you heard him do in SOS and Sinful Passion, or that we collectively heard him do in SOS and Sinful Passion. This is like a really, these are low, like baritone notes that he's hitting, but something's going on with his in-ear monitors, the, the little headphones that he's wearing, because he's messing with them as the performance is going on. Now, I like the way that he's doing it. Sometimes people are really obvious about messing with their in-ear monitors versus this performance is very emotional and intense. And so he is, all of the movements that he's making, you know, with his, his stage presence, he is working his fidgeting with the in-ear monitors into that movement that he's already doing. You know, he'll hear, hear, touch, here you know like it, it's not like really fidgety and throwing you off from what he's doing or what he is supposed to be saying or whatever the case may be so i like that he didn't break character kind of like when they talk about like with actors where when you're in character you got to like stay in the moment even if something unexpected happens go with it and so Something's going on with his in-ear monitors. I don't know what it is or how big the issue is because he's not making a big deal of it, but I like that he's not making a big deal of it.
that was that that transition was so effortless. I don't have a history with this song, so I don't know if this song was written for him or if it was written for like absolutely like ungodly singers like him who just have this insane range but this i wouldn't be surprised if this was written for like a, as a duet for two singers a male and a female singer because like he's this is in two completely different registers that most like the vast majority of people who've ever walked the face of the planet cannot do both in the same song now if this song was written for him obviously he can do it he's doing it right now uh, but if he's performing like i know the uh sos song he was performing a song that was composed for someone else and i think the same thing with the sinful passion song i think one of those two songs you guys told me that he was performing a song where the uh, original singer had passed away and so i'm curious if this is a similar situation or if this song was composed for him specifically but regardless the the range of notes that this song is is causing him to pull on is crazy What I want you guys to notice from this video is as he's breathing, notice that his body is not moving. In this fan cam, the only movement that you see is obviously like the muscles in his neck because duh, he's using them and like his gestures, but you don't see him going, <gasps> which for a lot of singers, especially a lot of not as technical technically sound singers you will see them breathing and intaking air which not only can sometimes throw you the audience member off because you're like whoa this, this dude are you okay like you look like you're about to pass out but two can throw the singer off when they're singing and so he his stability not only vocally but his body is very like everything is very intentional. The the axes of his body are all very stable. And that's that is a small thing that like when you're watching this and you're you're listening to him, you're like, wow, he sounds amazing. You don't even realize that like the fact that his body is not moving is in and of itself something that is impressive. Not just like, oh, he sounds great. We all know he sounds great. It doesn't take a trained ear to know that the notes that he's hitting and the range that he has is ridiculous. But when you're watching a singer who's been singing their whole life, there are small, minute things that they do that you may miss if you're not used to watching lots and lots of singers sing. I love his face right here. He's like, are you guys even aware what you just got hit with? Like, are, is your brain able to comprehend what I just did to your ears? That's a crazy note though. That is a, that is a crazy note. Like, wow. And also to do that in the same song that he was hitting those baritone notes earlier, like that's, 
that's like full on like operatic soprano notes that he's hitting as a man and doing it in the same song as the, he was just singing all those low notes. Like that's, that's crazy. This is whatever they paid him for this performance. It was not enough. Like this is, this is bananas. This song, the intensity that he has with this song is very interesting because he has stage presence in all of his performances and all of his songs, but in this song, he's very, very, not aggressive, but it's, it's like a very commanding character and it's, a, it's, a, it's an intensity that's in it and it's really interesting. Um, I'm not sure what this song is about, but that paired with the, the very deep notes that he's hitting are it, it's very it, it creates like a almost like a, like a militaristic vibe especially with like the the drums that are happening in the background it's all of this is a very militaristic like like general drill sergeant kind of it's very it's powerful and i know that this song i don't know i was i'm not you guys but i'm assuming that this song was requested for me to react to because of the high notes that he's hitting in this song compared to the low notes and that most people are going to remember the crazy high notes as they should because they're impeccable they're amazing but for me the the best part about this song is those low notes and the power and the the intensity of them and just like the the commanding performance that this is paired with those low notes like it's really it's it's powerful like i it, it just really i don't know it's it's moving in a i don't it touches you i, I don't know how, to, how else to put it like the the other notes may be more like whoa knock your thoughts off but this is very emotional and very raw and i like it i like it a lot Crazy, absolutely crazy. I almost paused on that. I have something to say about that, but I'll, I'll wait till after. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so that was that was really good. I mean, we, at this point, we expect no less from Dimash. He's he's insane. That song was very interesting. Like the the range that that song required, like I said, I could I could generally see two separate great singers singing that song, and he did both parts himself, back to back to back. No no delay, no water, no nothing. He was just it's crazy. That in section, if you go back and look on those last few high notes that he hit, which are really really high he gets so much real estate in his mouth we're not snakes we're not able to unhinge our jaws and, you know stretch our mouth bigger than our skull and whatever um but he takes full use of the real estate that is in his mouth and he stretches and opens his mouth so wide allowing him to do 
a variety of different things, but uh, allowing him to let those notes flow out. We are born with the amount of space we have in our mouths. Obviously you can like work on creating uh, more space via stretching out your, your jaw muscles and so on and so forth, but you only have so much space in your mouth. And so being able to take full advantage of that space, again, is just another thing that Dimash is able to do. That is very impressive, that affects the notes, but is not directly the notes that you are hearing, and therefore uh, might be lost on some people when they're watching that, being like, wow, that note is really high, or wow, that note is really low, or really stable, or has a lot of vibrato, or whatever. So yeah, that was that was amazing. I, you guys already know, anyone who's watched my last two reactions of Dimash know that I, I love Dimash. Dimash is absolutely insanely talented and skilled and it's just it's impressive to watch all the time uh, so i tried to point out other like more subtle things that people might miss during this performance in this reaction and so hopefully you guys enjoyed it definitely make sure to leave any other reaction recommendations that you have for me down below in the comment section like comment subscribe share all of that and i will see all of you guys here next time on the channel have a great day peace